we greet our andunulapam readers in the mighty name of the lord jesus it's 28th of july the friday year 2023 today let's meditate on the topic blessing of the spirit but the manifestation of the spirit is given to each one for the profit of all from the book of 1 corinthians chapter 12 verse 7 when the spirit of man is joined with the spirit of god then we get the blessing of the spirit now what is the blessing or manifestation of the spirit firstly these are the spiritual gifts given by the lord in his grace secondly these are the fruits of the spirit we find an explanation about the nine gifts of the spirit in 1 corinthians chapters 12 and 14 and in galatians chapter 5 verses 22 to 23 there is a listing of the fruits of the spirit when a person's spirit is in harmony with the spirit of god then he receives the gifts of the holy spirit he will especially receive the gift of prophecy and will obtain wisdom and knowledge therefore let your heart always have communion and fellowship with the lord you should always be sensitive to let the spirit of god to move in your spirit a man sees dreams and visions only in his spirit realm it is only in that realm the lord sensitizes a person about the coming things and reveals things that are beyond his knowledge or understanding through such dreams and visions we can obtain a part of divine knowledge in the days of joseph the lord gave pharaoh a dream about the impending famine in the land of egypt and how the people can be saved from its impact but the lord revealed its interpretation only to joseph in the same manner the lord gave a dream to nebuchadnezzar about future events in his kingdom but the lord revealed its interpretation only to daniel this is how the spirit of the lord grants revelations in the spirit of man this is the important reason why the children of god should always be led by the spirit and make all endeavors to receive the gifts of the spirit the lord filled bezalel with the spirit of god in wisdom in understanding in knowledge and in all manner of workmanship to make all the items needed for god's tabernacle in the wilderness god gave nehemiah the revelation to rebuild the walls of jerusalem while the children of israel were in captivity and with that revelation he was able to build up the walls of jerusalem and its 12 gates which were earlier in a state of disrepair children of god the lord will also grant you the manifestation of his spirit firstly a wall should be erected around your spirit soul and body a mind without control is like a city that lies in ruins but who could build such a wall around you it is none other than the holy spirit the lord says but the fruit of the spirit is love joy peace long suffering kindness goodness faithfulness gentleness self control against such there is no law from the book of galatians chapter 5 verses 22 and 23 for i says the lord will be a wall of fire all around her, and i'll be the glory in her midst from the book of zachariah chapter 2 verse 5 verse for further meditation from the book of romans chapter 8 verse 14 for as many as are led by the spirit of god these are sons of god today's bible reading meditation for morning from the book of psalm chapter 46 47 and chapter 48 bible reading for the evening from the book of acts chapter 